Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. In my last video, I talked about backhoes and options that you should look for if you're buying a backhoe. And um, that leads me to a question I got from a viewer. This is from Wayne. And he said, Mike, would you recommend someone get a tractor with a backhoe? Or would you suggest renting one when you need one? Is the backhoe on a tractor worth the money? Or is it more of a hassle? Well, I hate to say this, and I'm probably going to open a can of worms today. If you own a backhoe and you use it a lot, great. And you may put in the comments down there your argument to me for my answer to Wayne. Now, why you use it all the time and you definitely prefer owning a backhoe to renting one. But I'm going to give you four reasons today not to own a backhoe. And when I was in the dealership world, I was probably the world's worst backhoe salesman. I think I sold one in my entire tenure at the dealership in 11 years, and that was to somebody that made their living with the backhoe. So I'm gonna tell you today four reasons I don't own a backhoe and probably never will. Let's get started. The first reason I don't own a backhoe is because they are a pain in the royal butt to get off of the tractor. And if I did own a backhoe, I'd be using it a while, then going to my brush hog, and then back to the backhoe and back and forth. And that is really, really difficult to do. On a lot of tractors with backhoes, the three-point system of the tractor has to come off for the backhoe to go on, and there's a big subframe kind of in the way, and there's a lot of work with hydraulics to get the backhoe off the tractor, and it's really better with two people. So getting in and out of the backhoe is a big deal. And, and once you've done it once or twice, you'll get better at it, but once you've done it once or twice, you'll probably only do it maybe once a year. So the pain of getting in and out of the backhoe from the tractor is probably more than anything else why I don't own a backhoe. It's a pretty big deal, even for an experienced operator. So in the end, it's a pain in the butt to get the backhoe off the tractor, and it's an even bigger pain in the butt to get it back on the tractor. So that's mainly why I don't use one. And you, you could buy a three-point mounted backhoe, but in my last video I talked about this, with a three-point mounted backhoe on a small tractor bouncing across a rough field, it's a recipe for disaster. You could have a frame failure, which is a nice way of saying you'd break the tractor into, and we don't want that. So on a smaller tractor, compact or subcompact, definitely get the subframe, but it is gonna be a lot of work to get in and out of the backhoe. The second reason I don't own a backhoe, and, and this is the old farmer mentality in me, my father, uh, loved to have every piece of equipment he owned inside. And if I had a backhoe, I would not want a pretty new backhoe like this one sitting out in the fence row weathering uh, as, it, uh, as it said idle. I would want it inside to preserve it. And these things are, are difficult to store inside. They take up a lot of space in your barn. Now, I want to move to a smaller house and a bigger barn on down the road, and that might change my mind there. I want a barn you can see from the space shuttle and a smaller house, and I think I've got my wife on board with that, so I'd have room to put put a backhoe inside. But until that time, I don't want to store it out in the fence row. Too expensive a piece of equipment for that. The third reason I don't own a backhoe is I don't really have any jobs for it. Yeah, it would be nice once in a while to go out and dig a flower bed or, or something like that, but the only jobs I've had for a backhoe, and this is bad to say, but in the last few years have been we had a, an elderly horse that everybody loved that, that had to be put down, and, and I don't know on a small tractor like this if I could dig a hole big enough to bury a horse in I, I doubt it. And number two, it's kind of your family pet and getting it from the side of the death to the hole in a nice humane way is difficult. And, and so that's the only real reason I've had to own a backhoe. I've, I've also lost a couple of dogs and post hole digger made a nice hole. I, I had to make two holes and kind of cut out in between them. But, that was a pretty easy way to get the dogs in the ground, and a post hole digger is not going to get a horse in the ground. I called someone to come do that, and that leads me to the fourth reason I don't own a backhoe is I have good alternatives, and, and you might want to look at these before you invest in a backhoe. Uh, first alternative is rental. 
there's tons of rental yards within 15 miles of where I live and I can get a backhoe anytime I want to. Now it's going to be expensive, but when you look at the payments uh, for a say a seven, eight thousand dollar backhoe, uh, I could do a lot of renting uh, before I ever pay for the backhoe. And if I only use it once every three or four years and use it for a lot of jobs at the same time, rental makes a lot of sense. The next option I have, and this is my preferred option, is backhoe Doug. I've got a guy I've probably known for, oh, maybe 30 years that owns a backhoe that does that for a living. And if I've got a horse that goes down, he's out there, he knows you need to get out there pretty quickly and dig out a hole. And he knows for me to get the family out of sight while he places the horse in the hole and puts the dirt on top. And so I call Backhoe Doug and, and Backhoe Doug's gonna charge me a lot of money, but it costs a lot of money to own a full size backhoe. And I like Doug and I'm more than willing to pay him uh, whatever it costs to come out and do something like that. And the third option I've got, we've just had a guy move in next door to us and he doesn't know I do a YouTube channel or doesn't watch it, but he owns a nice mini excavator. He does not own a tractor. He's got a, a successful lawn care business. He's got a skid loader and a mini excavator, and I'm gonna become really good friends with him. He does not own a tractor, and I'm gonna make my tractor available to him for any tractor jobs he has, and then hopefully he'll return the favor with his mini excavator if I ever need it. Uh, no guarantees there, but nice young man, and I'm really gonna try to be his good friend because he's got the good toys. In closing today, last thing I'm gonna tell you, um, I do some freelance writing to support my YouTube habit and I was interviewing a dealer. I did a story a few years ago and I'll put a link in the description below about how to sell backhoes. And I had a dealer tell me a lot of the people that buy backhoes think they're going to dig stumps out with their backhoes. And, and he said they'll come to me and they'll have 50 stumps they want to dig out and they'll buy a backhoe to do that and he says they won't live long enough to do that. Uh, it's hard to dig a stump out with a backhoe. It makes a bigger hole than you'll expect and it takes longer than you think it will. So if you're thinking about digging out a bunch of stumps, I think a stump grinder is a better option. Uh, yeah, cutting them off at the base and just letting them rot may work too, uh, but digging them out with a backhoe, uh, you'll have a swimming pool size hole when you get done that you'll have to deal with and you'll be wore out after digging out that first stump. So I don't think that's the way you want to go. I do invite you, if, you've, if you bought a, a backhoe and you use it all the time and you switch implements back and you want to argue with me, put that in the comments below and, and, and tell other people I'm wrong. I've never owned a backhoe so I don't really know, I've sold them, but, but you've been on the other end of it. If you bought the backhoe and you've had r really great luck with it and wouldn't be without it, put that in the comments below. Appreciate you watching my videos. Here's the last video I did about backhoe options. And here's a video I did showing how to put a backhoe back on a tractor after it's been taken off. And I did that for a dealer. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post videos. Thanks for watching.